This time we're going to talk about sale prices and discounts and how to calculate them in hopefully a way that's easy for you to understand. Here we go. A $65 pair of shoes is on sale, 30% off. What is the sale price? There's a traditional way of doing this, which I'd like to show you. Then I have another way, which I'm hoping will be easier to understand and easier to do mentally without a calculator, because this is the type of problem you'll see out in the real world where you're not carrying a calculator with you. Okay, here's the traditional method. Step one is we go, what is 30% of 65, refer to my proportion video for this little technique here. Here's our setup. We cross multiply, divide both sides by the coefficient of x, and we get $19.50. And then in this traditional method, since that's our savings, we would need to subtract $19.50 from the original price to get our sale price of $45.50. Okay? That's one way of dealing with this type of problem. Now I'd like to talk about what I call the percent on method. Okay? So my question to you, if these shoes are on sale at 30% off. What percent are they still on? And this is a quick and easy mental calculation we can do. I'm sliding the page up here. <clears throat> and that calculation is simply, well, since percent means out of 100, then we can simply go in our heads. Oh, 30 from 100 is 70. So they're 70% on. That's what we're still going to pay. And as a consumer, that's what we're more concerned about, is how much is still coming out of my pocket. So then I can simply go ask this question. What is 70% of $65? You might recognize this as the way we set up and solve a proportion. And another thing we recognize is 70% means 70 hundredths, 70 out of 100, right? We can write it as a decimal. We know the word of means multiply. And 65, it is what it is. So this little question here gets translated into a multiplication problem. And guess what? The answer is the same as that that we had above. And I think it's quicker and easier to get to, especially when we could use the distributive property and do this mentally as well, right? We could go seven times six is 42. Seven times five is 35. And then when we put the decimals together in the right place, we get back to this, okay? Decimal there decimal there. Okay? So this is a problem now we can do mentally completely from start to finish. Okay? It's still two steps, but the difference is, if I bring the traditional method back down, up here we did the proportion first and then a subtraction using the amounts from the prices. Down here on the percent on method, we did the subtraction first out of a hundred and it's always going to be out of 100 because we're dealing with percents and we know cent is 100, okay? So it's still a subtraction happening, but we're doing it first and it's out of 100 and we're doing it that way every time, which means it's simple and reliable and easy to do in our heads with no calculator. Then once we have that percent on, then it's simply a multiplication problem to get the sale price, okay? Now in the real world, we're done with that. If we wanted to figure out how much savings happened, then we could always just do the original price 
minus the sale price to get our savings, right? But many times in the real world, we don't need to know how much the savings was. We just need to know what was the price, okay? That's what's coming out of our pocket. So I'd like you to practice this percent on method. I'm gonna give you a couple of sample problems here. Then I would like you to pause the video, do the problems, and then hit play again and see how you did, okay? So let's make up a couple of situations here. Let's say we have a video game. It's $40 and it's on sale. They're having a big 40% off sale. What's the price? What's the sale price? And another example, let's say we have a $75 skateboard, which is a good price right there, but 20% off. What's the sale price? All right, hit the pause button, do these problems, and then when you come back, I will show you how they worked, all right? Welcome back. If you didn't pause the video, that'll seem awkward, but welcome back if you paused it. Using the percent on method shown above, here we go. 40% off means 60% on, right? These two off and on should add up to 100%. So my question is simply what is 60% of $40? <clears throat> and the answer is $24. Simple as that, okay? And I could have done that in my head. In fact, I did check my work if you have a calculator. I hope I'm right. Okay? So it's 60% what is 60% of 40? That's what this means. And my answer answers that question. So I'm right. Okay, and so are you. Next one. $75 skateboard, 20% off, means 80% on. It adds up to 100. I can do that in my head, right? What is 80%? of, right, multiplication means of. I want to get that and never forget it. Of is multiplying. 80% of 75 equals $60. That's it. Check my work. Once again, I use mental math there. 8 times 7 is 56. 8 times 5 is 40. 56 and the 4 makes 60 so we can do that mentally using the distributive property But hopefully that helps you with this concept of discounts and sale prices and the percent on have a great day